16 of the National Football League, and today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Eagles and the Barons, and it comes your way next. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up with the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Brooklyn ball club. They come in losers of two straight, so they're trying to right the ship here a little bit. They're teetering a little bit, aren't they? And now things could really go south if they lose this game, so they understand the importance of playing well and stopping this streak. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Eagles, they were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Taken in at the goal line. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. So out comes the offense now with a long field ahead of them. They're led out by a former number two overall pick in the draft from BYU, it's Zach Wilson. And he comes to the end of the season leading the NFL in passing yards. And that's not necessarily something you set out to do at the beginning of the year but it's a good illustration of how remarkable and consistent he's been all season. On first and 10, it's Wilson. A throw to the flat for Carter. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. He'll dump this off to Carter complete. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. The numbers on the ground for Carter a week ago. 22 carries, 79 yards. Well, he's the number two runner in the league, and you just know the offensive line wants to get him to number one because most of the good ball carriers, they take care of their linemen. Could be a gold watch in their future if he becomes the leading rusher. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. There's Wilson to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they'll be inside the red zone with a ball at the 16-yard line. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield and don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's... And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the side. It may be cliche, but it is something that holds up over time, doesn't it? If you're the visitors, you don't want to let the crowd in the game early. Yeah, and that's exactly what they did there. But you said also this defense, they're going to give them a lot of looks like we just saw there, aren't they? They certainly are. They're a proud unit, and they're going to ride the momentum of this crowd with them. And that's why they got after them early. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. Yeah, nothing doing here is this time. The run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Here's Hurts to throw. Oh, under 
pressure, and he will go down. Set back at the 38. Quinnen Williams racking up sack number 12 for him on the year. Now make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively, and not to get ahead of ourselves, but they're they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. But they got to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback maybe some screens, maybe some draws, hard count, use your voice inflection a little bit, anything to try and slow that pressure down. And he's going to miss this one. Wide to the left from distance. It's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. Well, listen, now, no kick from 50-plus is a gimme. But here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their background. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about, what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And there's so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw going to be caught by Davis. And he's going to get this inside the 30. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Letting one go deep for the end zone. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. Well, when you've got a tight end who can run, you've got to give him a shot to unlock the defense. Want to see what they can get. Taking the big shot downfield. That one winds up incomplete. To throw on second and ten. Wilson looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Adams. So from inside the 20, here's first and ten at the 18. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back at the 29. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. Well, here's where having mobility sometimes can work against you as a quarterback. He thinks he can retreat and outrun the pressure. But that time, they zeroed in on him and took him down for a big loss, partner. A really big loss. Second and 21, a lot of ground to cover. Another try after the first down sack. Wilson, he'll check this one down to Carter. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Now this defense for the Eagles, they were very strong last week in the win over Carolina. It was a little bit enlightening talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. Now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit here. From the right hash, this from 33. And his kick is indeed good. And that will break our tie and give him a three-point lead. So a good kick there. They put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But the NFL, defenses are awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball through the post and take the throw. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Either not the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just want to run past it. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. So back onto the field. Here come the Eagles for their second drive. And they were in field goal range last time out, but couldn't connect. 
And it's early in the game, so I don't think that the confidence just goes entirely out of, you know, running your kicker back out there. But let's face it, some coaches have a little bit less patience for that than others. Let's see if they call the game differently now in terms of what they do on drives and not try and settle for field goals. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Throwing his hurts. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Hurts. Buying time to his left. And that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Now Carter to start the drive. Powerful running. He'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now it's Wilson. That's to the right side and complete to Najoku. And yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A big play there on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Space to run past the 20. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Out of the gun, they run with Carter. Holton Hill, the one there to bring him down. Four yards remain for second down. Now it's Wilson. Touchdown! Corey Davis, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Barons add six to their lead. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. A drive there of just four plays. So an early 10-0 lead for them now as they kick it away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and ten. Wow. 
They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave him seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. From the gun, it's Hurts. Left side here to Sanders. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. That'll give him eight that time, and that'll make it third down. Hurts sets up to throw it. Dancing to his left. And Hurts able to show off some of that elusiveness as he slides to the ground there and in the process picks up the first down. And oh, Johnson dinged up a bit. Still down. Hopefully nothing serious. Not something you want to see in week 16 or any week, really. We'll be right back. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. Not something you want to see in week 16 or any week, really. We'll be right back. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll drop the throw. Over the middle complete. That's Wheeler. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. Not something you want to see in week 16 or any week, really. We'll be right back. A couple of first downs on the drive already. As they'll go from the 47 now on first down. They'll set up a throw. And Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Sheldon Rankins, he continues to wreak havoc in the offensive backfield. Sack number 16 on the year. That's three sacks now, and that's not much of a surprise to me, nor should it be to you. This team... They lead the league in sacks. Yeah, they do. This is something that we are starting to witness time and time again. A lot of ground to cover. Second and 22. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. They're going to look to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Smith, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Eagles have cut it back within a score. Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. And that is absolutely demoralizing for a defense because you've got the offense on the ropes. It's third down. You're trying to get off the field, and then wham. You have a letdown in the secondary, and you give up a big one. Extra point attempt here still to come. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. So that drive in total eight plays. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. And they rattle off a big one. 
Already over 1,000 yards receiving this season. That catch is just going to add to his total. Certainly not resting on his laurels. He's trying to continue to gain as many yards as possible and continue this big season. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Wilson. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what. When he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Shotgun snap and a give to Carter. And he'll get inside the 40 to maybe the 38-yard line. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. Something we haven't really seen much of from him, an incomplete pass. Yeah, last week he finished at 70%. This week he's up over 80%. I don't know how you slow him down. Pass rush is usually the best way because a quarterback on his back usually can't complete a pass. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Jalen Hurts in this offense trotting back out. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well. But the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with a quarterback on the ground so much. Now he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. As they've got it second and seven. Sanders toss left side. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt. He'll look to throw. That swung out wide to Sanders. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Only able to gain a couple there. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. But it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. Thomas Morstead now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And the punt over the side in the air and the spot will be inside the 35. Here comes the field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. What can they do now, Charles, to make sure this highlight montage doesn't continue to show more pressure and pressure and pressure? You feel like it always comes back to leverage, don't you? Who is going to win that battle of the offensive and defensive lines? 
Low man wins. We talk about that, but we think about it in a running game. But guess what? The same thing happens when you're trying to pass protect. Are you low? Are you balanced? Are you in a position where the pass rush won't bowl you over on the way back to the quarterback? They've got to reestablish that in order to try and keep their man upright. As they have been bowled over a lot so far in this one. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the gun, it's Wilson. Throw right side complete to Carter. Call it a gain of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. The offense on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and eight. To throw is Wilson. And this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Darius Slay with a pick. And he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Unfortunately for him, if last week was any indication, we knew a pick was coming at some point. Last week, it was interception after interception, and here we go again. We actually quit counting last <laughs> week at a certain point because I thought I was going to run out of fingers, all right, because I'm not all that skilled as a mathematician. But you're right. It felt like a matter of time, and you've got to think the guys on defense, they couldn't wait for this opportunity after what they saw on tape. Here's the backup now, the former Badger, Melvin Gordon. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Now a carry for Sanders. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. The Eagles on third down. Two for five to this point. This will be third and five. Now back to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. Thus far, they've been able to move the line of scrimmage very well in the running game. Almost felt like they said in the huddle, can you guys pass protect? Let's take a big shot downfield. Didn't get it on that one, but they may come back to it again. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. So it's a second missed field goal here in this first half. He'll have to think about that going forward. Maybe time for a little soul searching as well. Yeah, the head coach might be looking towards the heavens because you wonder if this will affect the fourth down decision making going forward. If you get fourth and three, fourth and four, situations that used to be calls for the kicker might get a second thought. Well, they tried the field goal from just inside at 70 yards. It missed, and now this offense set up nicely at midfield. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside, and they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they used your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Sammy Sideline. You know something? He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport stake. To throw again on second down, Wilson. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Oh, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's the perfect word for it, precise. Because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, this phase is not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball down the field as well. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. 
Carter will try the right side. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Second and 12. A handoff for Carter. And he's going to be brought down at about the 33-yard line. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. That's a good thing. Makes it third and four. Throwing is Wilson. That's complete to his running back, Carter. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got the ball early and often. I had no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. First and ten, it's Carter. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Sometimes it's hard to take your eyes off this guy at the linebacker position. He can really cover some ground, and he did there to make that play. And sometimes all of your best laid plans of play design, your X's and O's, they can't always account for individual effort defensively. And this was one of those times. Just a terrific play to hustle over there and get the running back to the ground. And the final number here in terms of the top speed that he hit, absolutely absurd. Next Gen Stats has him at better than 23 miles an hour on that one. Now Wilson. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. Not something you want to see in week 16 or any week, really. We'll be right back. It's second and goal, but now all the way back at the 14. One more time with Carter. And they get to him quickly here as he stops right around the 13. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. They'll try to run with Carter. And he's brought down, but not before a really nice stiff arm to create a little space. It'll be a gain of seven, but still well short here with fourth and goal looming. This situation in the fourth quarter, you go for it. But here, take the points. If you go for it here and don't get it, you and I are missing our plane, and we're going to the post-game press conference to hear him justify it. <laughs> because the next thing we'll see is the owner walking in, announcing a firing. There is no way he goes for it here. Get the field goal. It's the first half of the game. You've got time to make it up. And this one is right through. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Jalen Hurts in this offense trotting back out. But a decent start for him here in this first half, but they're losing. And I think as the captain of the offense, you probably always feel like you need to do more in that situation. The best have always felt that way. And they won't settle for anything less. So right now, his goal is to increase what he's doing on the field, try to make sure his teammates come along with him. And he feels like if I do better, everyone will do better. And that's what we're seeing from him right now. Got to have a little extra determination. Yeah, a little extra determination. He has thrown the touchdown pass. No interceptions for him personally to this point. 
The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. On the counter now, it's Sanders. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. He's going to loft it deep right sideline. And that would be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter, been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. Well, now he's looking just to add to his totals. Here's second and five now from the 37. A give, Carter running right, and they will only muster a yard here to the 38. This offense so far on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This is third and four. They'll set up the screen to Carter, and he'll be stopped right at midfield. They certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. On first down. It's Carter, and he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. To throw on second and six, Wilson. A throw to the flat for Carter. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. They'll run with Carter. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. When you're dead last in the NFL with third down conversions, the odds are against you every time you face it. How about him picking up that one? That was big for them. First and 10 at the 38. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. He's going to fire one deep left sideline. And incomplete on the deep ball. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles' 30. So they need two yards here on third down. Remember, they're already 2-2 two two on third down conversions on this drive. He hits Adams, complain. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Play action. Now Wilson. And it's caught. Touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Barons are able to extend their lead. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. A try here for the extra point. Oh, 
And the lead is now 13. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taking it about the one. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully... Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. John Franklin Myers in there to get him, and that is now sack number 18 on the season for it. Well, last game he had two sacks, got another one here, picked up right where he left off. Brandon, he spent the entire offseason working on new moves, new techniques, trying to add to his arsenal of pass rush moves, certainly paying dividends of what we've seen so far. Now he dumps this off over the middle. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. And he's looked pretty good. Does have the one interception, but two touchdown passes so far. Your analysis. They'll take the offset. When you talk about throwing two touchdown passes, no one wants to see an interception thrown, but those things happen in the course of a ball game and over the course of the season. But throwing two touchdown passes, that's why the team has an advantage. That's what they're looking for more of. They'll be hoping to make it a 3-1 to one ratio here in the second quarter. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back, on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Not wanting to risk another sack, they'll play it safe with a run. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts, and they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. And taken right at the 35. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Jalen Hurts in this offense trotting back out. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but bottom line, his team's losing. They got to fix something. And it starts with him. He has to keep that little quarterback strut going right now to make sure his team sees him as confident. Continue to try and up his game. But just let them know, hey, if I'm around, if I'm the one calling signals and throwing the football, just follow me, we'll get there. Sometimes that will do more to elevate a team than anything else. See if he has that confidence. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. They spot it on the midfield stripe, so it is a 60-yard attempt here. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice, an ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this score will stay right where it is. The long-distance shot before break comes up empty, but now Charles flipped the script. Time for likely one more play as field position becomes an issue. Yeah, when you talk about field position, remember... If this kick is missed, the ball comes back to where? 
the spot that they snapped it from. So field position becomes a factor. I think at this spot, you might also want to think about throwing the Hail Mary. You know, put the ball up in the air. Maybe you can get six out of it instead of three. Yeah, see what happens. So we are at halftime here on Christmas Eve. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in everyone to this Christmas Eve edition of the EA Sports Halftime Report. So let's get to it. We'll kick things off with an AFC's matchup in Foxborough. Buffalo visiting New England. And it's the Bills who have the lead in that one. Josh Allen has thrown a touchdown pass. Next, we'll stay in the Northeast as we head down to FedEx Field in Washington to check in on the football team. And they were losers in that one to the visiting New York Giants. Saquon Barkley, well over 100 yards on the ground with a pair of touchdown runs. Finally, let's get up to the place they call Title Town, Green Bay, Wisconsin to see what's happening with the Packers. And they trail the visiting Chiefs in that one. Clyde Edwards-Alaire accounting for the lone scoring thus far as he's cashed in with a touchdown run. Time now for a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Eagles. And not much went right in those first two quarters. You can see the numbers on the ground there. Not a whole lot to write home about so far. Meanwhile, on the other side, they had a little bit more success on the ground than their opponents did, and that just set them up well for the second half to come. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And the half will begin with a touchback. And the Eagles ready to go on offense to begin this third quarter. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? We're paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks. I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked by Emmanuel Mosley. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. And that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. After the interception, here's Wilson. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Seven yards, the pick up there. Running left on the handoff, Carter. Down right around the 25. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Here's Wilson. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown. Devontae Adams. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Barons take the first turnover on defense and convert it into six points. Always important to get the first score in the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the 42 of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable. But and now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. 
So they go with the pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods in practice now, something they never really did before. The Eagles offense making their way back out as we take a look at the playoff picture in the NFC. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback <laughs> some confidence. See what happens. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Another run with Sanders. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Hurts. Man open. That's Marquez Valdez Scantley. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. A first down carry for Henry. And he's going to take this one down inside the 45. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They'll run with Sanders. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Hurts to throw. Quick slant here to Smith. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short. Blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Three yards the game there, second down. Ran a perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync. Stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and it passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Throwing his hurts. Flush to his right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. And that's off the right upright, and it bounces away no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So distance not the issue there. He had plenty of leg to get it there. It's that darn upright getting in the way. Always gets in the way of a good time, doesn't it? Because he hit it square, too. Sometimes you can bank one in if you get it on the end of the football. 
No such luck there for him. Marching back onto the field now, Devontae Adams and company getting set to go. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Eric Rowe. And the Eagles are going to take over here up near the 40. Gosh, you add up last week and this week now. That's nine interceptions in this two-game stretch, and we're not done here. It's almost as if they can't even believe their eyes. Or maybe, partner, is the confidence level in him so high that they believe he'll get out of it and make plays for them to win a game? Well, they've said they believe in him. That's being tested right here. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Traverius Ward. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Extra point attempt to follow here. It's up and good, and they're in control now. 35 to 7. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taken at the goal line. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. Airing it out deep for Smith. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Hurt sets up to throw it. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off at the 40. And they are going to set up shock at the 40-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because well, here we are in December. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Here's a give to Carter. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Out of the gun. Here's Wilson. And he whips that one incomplete there. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now it's Wilson. And that is incomplete. Now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit here. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And they're sitting pretty now as the lead grows even further. 
So tack on three more, though this, it's just a rare drive where they did not find the end zone. Yeah, you're right about that, partner. But at this point, I don't think you're too concerned about that. You just want to possess the football for a while and drain the clock. If you can get three out of it, that's great, too. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. Three yards remain for second down. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Throw left side, complete. That's Smith. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. On first and ten, it's Sanders. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. They give those two yards right back, and now they're looking at a third and 10. I believe I could see what they were trying to do there, but unfortunately, the back ran out of room. Too close to the sideline. And for defenders, we're often taught 11 on the field. Those sidelines can become the 12th defender and work to the defense's advantage on that play. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. 37 yards on the punt with no return. Out comes Devontae Adams in the offense for their next drive. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once, over 100 yards. But, hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes... That means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Kyle feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. On the counter, Carter. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. From the shotgun, Wilson. They'll check this one down to Carter. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Well, I certainly don't want to pile on, but this defense has just not been up to the challenge in this game. And this continues as we see here. Coverage. Not been very good. Soft in spots. There's an easy throw and catch for another first down. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Slant to Adams. 
And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. From the gun, it's Wilson. Airing one out for Crowder. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off down at the two. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So the deep ball giveth, and now the deep ball taketh away. And you're getting deep on me here. I like that. Going to the next level and what you're thinking. And when you think about all the success he's had throwing the football so far, sometimes when you're doing that, you think you're invincible out there. But he was given a cold dose of reality on that throw. And Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. So a little breathing room now. First and 10 at the 17. Back to throw here. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. four times already and they're staring at a fifth barring a conversion here on third down and he's got his man it's the tight end Goddard and he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion there's a nice pickup right there and after watching that play I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game but right now just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. He'll look to throw. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. That's a staple in this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective game nonetheless. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. We're off to the fourth quarter here on Christmas Eve. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now just east of Manhattan in Brooklyn. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Flushed out right. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble. And it's second down. Now, how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. It's caught. Smith. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. 
And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Not something you want to see in week 16 or any week, really. We'll be right back. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And Sanders has got it complete. That catch good for only a couple. Throwing again on second down. Hurts to Valdez Scantling over the middle. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. with a little pop pass on the jet sweep. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, I mean, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses. And this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. Only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. Not something you want to see in week 16 or any week, really. We'll be right back. Third and goal. Try to make that scoreboard at least a little more respectable. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. John Franklin Myers in there for the sack, and he's closing in on the all-time record. That's number 19 on the year. help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert and they turn it over. And now following the incomplete pass, we'll get a timeout here for an injured player. Not something you want to see in week 16 or any week, really. We'll be right back. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now Carter to start the drive. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Another tote for Carter. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 15. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. 
It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought up a punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys would get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. And on now is the punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at about the 32. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. They set up the screen for Henry. That catch good for only a couple. To throw again on second down. Hurts. This one to the right, caught by Valdez Scantling. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. And Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Carl Lawson in there to get him, and that is now sack number 18 on the season for him. That right now. That's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. A hole to dig out of here, second and 17. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts. And right side, Henry's got it. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And just like that, it's third down. It's caught by Sanders. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It'll be a loss of two on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really onto something there in this passing game. It just can't get off the ground. And that play, it wound up losing yardage. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. But first down, Hurts. And that's off the mark, incomplete. Here's second and ten. It's now second and ten. Hurts sets up to throw it. And that's complete to Sanders. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. Sheldon Rankins in there to bring him down, and that is sack number 17 now on the season. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. And this came from the interior of the defensive line, and these guys, they're normally anchors of that spot, and they don't often get clear shots at the quarterback. But in this case, he got past the center and the guard in no time and got there to make the play. He's going to float this one deep right side. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked by Emmanuel Mosley. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Not something you want to see in week 16 or any week, really. We'll be right back.
They'll start on the ground. Carter, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And give him a lot of credit there, but even more credit to the guys up front. In that situation, you know it's going to be a stacked defensive front. And to be able to gain that much yardage, that's a big win for the guys on offense. Yeah, they were just about standing on their own goal line, so to get a few yards there, a great start. Now we'll see what second down brings. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they're going to get the first down here as he's out to the 14. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the short catch and flip the down marker back to one. So still backed up, but the situation not as dire now. First and 10 at the 14. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Carter once more. And down he'll go at the 25. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. On first and 10, it's Carter. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. Carter will try the right side. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Here's Wilson. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much and he's sacked for a loss of 12. So they bring out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. Come on now. So plenty of smiles for the folks here as they head for the exits. It's a victory for their hometown guys. And you know, it wasn't a shutout. They did give up the points in the first quarter, but second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them scoreless. Brandon, if you throw a shutout for quarters two, three, and four, you're going to win a lot of games in this league. And this felt a lot like, almost like if you say baseball, and the pitcher goes through the lineup the first time and the hitters get to see him, and then they come out after that and the bats start blazing, right? I think they saw their best stuff in the first quarter and just shut everything down from that point on. What a great convincing performance. So for the home team here, the win moves them to eight and seven now on the year. And they'll get another home date next week as the Patriots will come to town.